Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Nucci. Hey, Nucci. How old are you? I'm 25. I'll be 26 soon. Okay. And uh, what do you do? I am an artist as well as a behavioral health tech, and I'm also a stripper. Now, this, guys, is a very interesting revelation. The attention seekers of the universe. What good can come of this one? Let's go. <laughs> okay. Now, what kind of artist are you? I rap. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. All right. So, anything we should be looking out for? Anything soon? Yes. Actually, I dropped a song yesterday. So, go ahead and check that out, you guys. Okay. Talk about a reason to be here. This right here is her reason to be here. Has nothing to do with you guys. It's about promoting her music. No other reason. Showgirl Nucci on YouTube and Instagram. All right. Well, make sure to check that out. <laughs> now, what is it? Now, at this point, I'm amazed that more people haven't popped that balloon. But let's see what happens from here. Things you like to do for fun? Um, I like to write music. Uh, I love movies. Like, I really like, I grew up watching movies. Like, my grandma would sneak us into the movies. Like, we would pay for one, go see another one, we would okay. pay for it. So, yeah. <laughs> love movies. Um, I love to hike. I like to work out as well. Um, anybody that knows me knows that when I was like heavily into my working out like regimen, mm -hmm. I was working out like five, six days a week. I got really small. It's good to know that you got really small and that you had a good arrangement with your gym. Presently, you don't. So let's not talk about that. Pumped up a little bit, but I like mm -hmm. myself both sizes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, just security within yourself, confidence. Um... A guy that has like goals mm -hmm. um, and actually like doing something to achieve them. Yeah. Okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? Ooh, deal breakers. Um, a guy like if you if you've met me, if you've been around me, humbly, I do get attention. So like if you know that about me and you want to pursue me, mm -hmm. then that's definitely something. Like if you tend to get insecure about the attention that I get, that's something that would make me like kind of stray away from you. Mm, okay. Ah, uh, yes. The infamous, you must be fine with me doing whatever I want. The infamous, you must understand that you are a sideshow in my party. You must understand that you are a fan of me being on stage. You must understand that clients will reach out to me while I'm walking with you. And you should also be fine with it. You shouldn't feel in any way concerned that my clients will approach me on the streets. My dear sister, you are not the only woman that gets attention. Every woman does. And every man is okay understanding that their woman gets attention. However, the Risk reward does not pay out in your case. I'm sorry. We don't want it. All right. So we did get um, a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Okay. All right. Let's start with your name and age. Uh, I'm Trey. I'm 25. And Trey, what do you do? Uh, I'm a development project manager at a tech company. Okay. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, just a profession. Stripper. That's not my preference. Nothing wrong with you. No, honestly, preference. I thought it was going to be more people that would pop. So I understand. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. yeah, that's it. Got it. All right. Now, is uh, he someone that's your type? Um, you're dressed very well. Great okay. smile. Just um, if we're going off everyday life, I probably wouldn't entertain. Yeah. Nothing against you. You're very handsome. No, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Now, is there something there that's making you say you wouldn't entertain him? Um, I think I just... Okay. It's I think okay. I just like a more like brolicky guy, like a little oh, okay. bit more like like mm, like you know. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that saying like no, you're, you're not that, you're but fine. just for fine. me, I'm you're a big great. girl, so. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Let's go. All right, cool. Thank you. And let's go down over here. Your name and age. Uh, yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. And Key, what do you do? Uh, I own a trucking business. Okay, very cool. Now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, just a profession, same thing. Uh, 
Very pretty girl. Thank just you. Professional, yeah. That's Sorry, it. I'm sweating. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. You good. Okay. And now is Key someone that's your type? Love your complexion. Like, that was definitely the first thing that caught my eye when I walked out here. Appreciate um, it. Love the waves as well. Um, I probably would entertain you if you approached me. So, yeah. Hmm. Okay. okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Thank you. All right. So, we still do have quite a few balloons left unpopped. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these guys a question, help you narrow it down. Ooh. Um... Damn, I didn't really think about this. Oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do. Any of you guys have children? You are, do. Are kids a deal breaker for you? Yeah. Okay. So I'm let's, sorry. let's head on over here. Let's start with your name and age. My name is John. I'm 31. John, what do you do? Uh, I'm an aerospace tech, and uh, I do content. So. Okay. Got it. So she did pop on you for the kids. Um. Why did you have your balloon unpop for her, though, prior to that? I mean, I'm not really shallow. You feel like to get to know the person, so I was just trying to fill her up. My brother, I must say I'm disappointed. And your word gymnastics doesn't help either. You have seen what she has presented, which is arguably a bad deal. And if you believe that there is something she can present further that can equalize or balance out said bad deal you yourself are in a bad place however i think it's good on you that you have a child and she has decided to pop your balloon but guy choose better okay got it got it now i know the kids is deal breaker but is he someone that's your type um you're so cute. Like, let me just say that. You're, like, really cute. But, like, if I'm going to be with somebody, I need somebody that's, like, fine to me. Like, you fine to to a lot of girls, I'm sure. But yeah. to me, like, very cute. I love your dreads. I like the way you're dressed. And yeah. That's cool. I was it. Okay. <laughs> All righty. So, everyone else has no kids. Any other questions? Um... <laughs> this is dumb, but, like, I do want to know your guys' signs. Okay. <laughs> Damn straight. That right there is a palpable offense. Zodiac signs and all these things that a lot of people put in their minds to. I don't get it. It's a pop for me too. Okay. I wasn't so going to pop you based off your sign. I just want to know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start here with your name and age. Uh, my name is Dante. I'm 25. Okay. Dante, what do you do? Uh, I'm a famous adult uh, entertainer and also a uh, YouTuber as well. Got yeah. it. So, to answer her question, what's your sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Okay. A I like Sag. Sag. Yeah. Okay. Good. We'll come back. Name and age? Name Justin. And 26. Okay. And what do you do? And I own an online business. So, yeah. Right. Okay. And what's your sign? I'm a Cancer. Okay. I like Cancer. You guys are very, like, emotionally okay. intelligent and, like, just, like, intuitive when it comes to emotions. Oh, for sure, yeah. I like that. Yeah, and yeah. you guys, like, really make people feel comfortable. Like, no sign I feel like mm -hmm. is better at doing that than a Cancer. So. Yeah, that's how it is. For I sure. like that. Yeah. Name and age? Chris, 27. And Chris, what do you do? I got a couple jobs. Uh, I'm a realtor first. Mm. And then I work at a community center with kids. And then I work at two nonprofits. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like that. What's your sign? Scorpio. I have a love-hate <laughs> relationship with you guys. Like, I love you guys, but you guys are toxic. And this right here is one of my main challenges when it comes to people believing that the month you were born has such a huge impact on who you are and what you can become is just amazing. In some cases, it's a cop-out where... I had no choice. I am born in X month, so therefore I have to do Y. Instead of judging each person on an individual basis, we are going to judge people based on the month they are born, over which they had zero control. But such is the mind of some people. However, let's see where this goes. Continue. Wait a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, at least you know. <laughs> right, thank you. And we did get a pop. Let's head on back this way. Your name and age? My name's Ryan. I'm 26. And Ryan, what do you do? 
I own uh, two different media companies. Okay. So you did end up popping your balloon when she asked, what's your sign? What's up? What's going on? Um, yeah, it's just the sign thing. I just never got into that. Mm. And I don't even like speaking about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I understand. Like, a lot of guys are like that, so I don't fault you for that. <laughs> All good. <laughs> All right. So prior to her asking about signs, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why so? I kind of wanted to hear her out. The profession thing did kind of take me through a little loop, but I was I was still open. Um, yeah. So, and, and she's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. So, <laughs> I was going to say peanut butter. I like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was like, I was like, no, we can, uh, I just want to hear what she had to say. Got it, got it. Now, is Ryan someone that's your type? No, because you're just a smidgen too light skin for me. I know I'm light skin as well, but oh, shit. I like him a little bit brown to dark skin. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Let's go over here. Why you end up popping? Man, I, sh- I'm, I think I'm light skin. I don't know. Like, you feel You're me? You're not as right? light as him. <laughs> you should have gave yourself a chance. Hey, I mean, look, I didn't know. You should have been clear on me. You know? <laughs> But it's all good. Well, though. I did say brown to light skin. To brown me, light, you're, I mean, you are kind of like on the cusp brown. of light. Yeah, yeah. But you are, to me, you have a little bit more melanin. Okay, for know. sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Damn, okay. So, but you want that balloon back or something? Right. My brother, my brother, my brother, please don't tell me that you're going to want to take that balloon back. When you make a decision based on all the information available, to you at a particular point, my brother. Please don't go back, especially when it comes to a woman who is a stripper and who is obviously here to promote her music. My brother, do better. Why are you biting your lip like go, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and okay. get that balloon yeah. back. Yeah. Get that balloon yeah. back. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we'll be back for you then. He ended up popping as well. What's going on? Same thing. You know, I'm light skin, as everybody can see. She said brown skin to dark skin. Maybe I should have specified, like, like light, bright, bright. Type shit. Okay, yeah. okay. Like, There's nothing wrong with light brights at all. Like, all yeah, complexions yeah. are beautiful. It's just a preference. Yeah, no, I feel yeah. you. But you, yeah, no, you're you're damn near the same color. Yeah, you're the same color. I just know. I'm, I've been light skin my whole life. <laughs> yeah, I'm only dark as we in Arizona right now. Okay. All right. So, you want him to get, or I don't know. I mean, it's up to him. It's up to you. You want the balloon back or no? Shit. I think I'm going to just, I just want to see what else okay. is out there. No, okay. no problem. Shit. No problem. All right. So, is he someone that is your type? Um, I love the way you're dressed. Very handsome. I probably wouldn't, in the real world, entertain. Okay. Type shit. Okay. So, prior to her saying the whole light skin thing, why'd you have your balloon unpopped? Oh, well, she cold. Okay. <clears throat> My voice gone. Uh-huh. Yeah, but she cold. Okay. Thank you. Thank as hell, you. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we did get a pop is. down here. <laughs> All right. Your name and age? How you doing? My name is Nati. Okay. I'm 25. Okay. And Nati, sorry, what wait, do you What's your name? Nati. Nati. Nati? Yeah. It's okay. Ethiopian name. Okay. 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 Like and that. what do you do? I'm a project engineer for a general contractor full time and then do a little freelance estimating on the side. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, first, I'm an, I'm an Aries. That, that, um, but yeah, when people ask me about my sign, I feel like they're making a lot of assumptions about the sign. To be honest, I don't believe in that at all. Yeah. Um, but you're cool though, you know, you're pretty. And Thank you. you. I think we'd be good friends, but yeah. That's I think so though. too. And honestly, let me just elaborate on like the Zodiac question. Like I would never cancel somebody because of their Zodiac sign. Like that's dumb. But like I do, like I'm a Virgo. So like a lot of the things that they say about Virgos is very true for me personally. So like I just like, it gives me kind of like a little insight of what your personality could look like. But so, obviously, I would give you the chance to, like, you know, indulge me in who you really are. And this is what you call a word salad. Because if it's not so important, why ask it in the first place? There are many more important questions that could be put to all of these people on stage. However, you chose to put the questions forward that were important to you. Actions speak louder than words do. So, if you were interested in, for example, marriage, one of the questions that you could have posed was, what does your future look like? 
what does relationships look like for you. However, you have, in your own words, put forward questions that are not really that important. However, you were, based on that same question, making assessments of the people who answered your question. You were saying that I like this sign because they are X and I don't like this sign per se because they are toxic. Come on, my sister. Your story falls apart if you scrutinize it for more than two seconds. That's cool. Okay, thank you. Let's head on back. Okay, so we do have two guys left. I'm going to go ahead and see if you guys have any questions for her. You do? Okay, let's start here. Uh, what is submission to you? Submission. What is being a submissive woman? Submissive is like allowing my man to lead. So like, um, let's say like, let's say we want to buy a house or something. Yeah. And I want to live in one area, but you tell me that you want to live in this area for this, that, and this reason. I'm going to listen to you. And if I feel like, okay. My man has proved to me that he can lead. I think he knows what he's talking about. If we move here, it might not be the best idea, so I'm going to go with what my man says. First off, really good question. This question would have triggered 99% of women. And I appreciate the fact that this particular young lady at least tried to answer the question or at least tried to show her interpretation of what submission means. However, all you heard was, I will do what my man says after I have analyzed and I have decided that his decision is a good decision. So that is not in essence her submitting to him. It is still her making the final decision based on what she thinks. So for example, if she had said, Final decisions, I defer to my man. I trust the man that I choose to be able to make good judgments. So if he says to me, we are going to be living in Alaska because here are the opportunities and here are the whatever, she should defer final judgment, make the fi allow him to make the final call. All she is saying is, if she feels good about what he says, then she will abide by. However, if she doesn't feel good about what he says, then she will not allow him to lead. And that's it for 99.99% .99 of women when it comes to answering the question of submission. What do you mean prove to you? Um... Just like letting me know that you have like, you know what you're doing basically. Just like financially, spiritually, mentally, what your goals. If you say that you have goals and you haven't achieved any of them, then why would I let you lead anything that has to do with me? So just proving it that way. Okay. Okay. Any questions here? What city you stay? I mean, where you stay? Like I stay in Phoenix. You stay in Phoenix? Yes, sir. I stay in Cali, so I don't know. Ooh. Long distance. Long distance. I don't know about that one. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 All right. So long distance is no for you. No, I, okay. can, I can't do that. Okay, so you did have him get his balloon back. Is he someone that's your type? He's handsome, yeah. I would I would entertain him. Okay. Oh, entertain me? Hold on. I would. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I would, uh, did I say something bad? You say entertain. Yeah. Now, I appreciate the fact that you didn't let that one slide, my brother. As I said earlier, you are just part of her show. She is the star and you are her fan. And that term, her entertaining you, exactly proves my point. You are nothing to her. She has millions of men hitting on her and still she is here on a single show pretending to be looking for love. And 
all of these people continually try to reach out to her. So whatever time she has for you, she is letting you know off rip. I am just entertaining you, my brother. And when it is no longer fun for me, I will see no value in you. But let's go. Let's continue. Entertain the idea of getting to know you. Okay. Just like you would do that for me, right? I feel you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> let's go back this way. Why did we end up popping? To just, I had to think about what she was saying about the submission. So before I got famous, before I had anything, I had my ex of uh, three years. I was trying to marry and stuff like that, but she didn't believe in the hustle. She didn't believe what I was doing and stuff like that. I didn't have the results, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, with that, and she didn't believe in what was happening, and I told her what exactly was going to happen okay. to where I am today and stuff like that. And it's like, okay, I can't entrust that. Oh, I might not have it in five years. I might have it in two years. It might happen in six years. You feel me? But, like, you thinking that, oh, you don't have the results yet. You know, a lot of people don't have results yet. You feel me type of shit? It don't come overnight. It don't come over in a year. Don't come over in three. You got to stick and ride. If you mean, and if you're not going to do that, I... a very valid point. However, that journey is a journey that every man who is worth his salt will be on. Most women will not be at your side when there is nothing happening for you. The love for achievement trumps the love for ambition and that is also a good point for every man out there to understand she may say she loves ambition and drive but her love for your accomplishments will always supersede her love for your ambition and drive good choice my brother Beat it, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> now I felt that. All right, cool. All right, well, Nucci, that is all the balloons popped. But we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Ultimately, this young lady got what she came here for. So it was a win for her. I can guarantee that her page, both YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok is now blowing up with a lot more views. And a lot of people who did not know who she was before is now checking her out on social media. So with that being said, it is a win for her because ultimately what she came here for was to gain visibility on social media, cloud. And this is where I see a lot of these pop the balloon challenges leading to. Obviously, this one, this young lady is doing very well with hers. She is remaining quite professional and handling hers in a great way. So big ups to her. However, there are still those who will try to come on here for that viral moment. So, kudos to the host. I think she's doing a good job. So, yeah, much respect. And guys, check out her page. Um, it will be in the description. Go ahead over there. Give her a follow. Give her a couple of likes on her videos. And let's keep it going.